So you guys kindly <laughs> let me know in the comments, and I appreciate the kind part of that. Um, that I am an idiot. Yeah, that, no, 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 that's true. I know it's it's a it's a <laughs> it's a surprise to us all. But this weapon that I got yesterday, this this mollusk, uh, turns out you fire it upwards, and then the stuff comes down. Oh, I, it makes so much more sense. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Well, I don't know. Maybe because it says release homing sparks while traveling. Stealth strikes release homing snails that create even more sparks. You know, it's not very clear, is it? <laughs> it's just, it is what it is. It's just not, not that clear. All right, we're going to re-roll this thing and try to use this against Skeletron Prime. Because actually, I think it might be quite good if we get it. Uh, yeah, speed velocity, that's not super great. We want percent damage on this thing. Also, I'm running out of gold. Lethal. Uh, five percent still strike damage. Actually, that's quite nice. You know what? Let's go, let's go ahead and go with that. Let's let's try this out. And even if the still strike thing doesn't quite work for us, then, or or sorry, if this weapon doesn't quite work for us, then we can always switch mid fight. So I'm not too concerned about that. But we are gonna go ahead and buff and try to kill Skeletron. Um, basically now. So we're gonna jump right into it today. I'm excited to try it. Uh, especially to just try to get some still strikes in here with a bunch of these guys. Although I kind of want to fire it up into the air, I think. Not how I'm doing it now. Like that. There we go. That's that's the way we do it. I don't want to throw it directly at Skeletron. I, I, I just want to throw it into the air and let that do its thing. Actually, that does a lot of damage. That was like 1,400 damage there. And it homes. So it... Ooh, oh, my goodness. It makes this a little bit easier. If I can stop getting hit by stupid crap, <laughs> it would make it easier. And I gotta, I gotta do this like on every stealth strike here. No, stop getting hit by the arms. Oh my goodness, Zen, you're so bad at this game. <laughs> this is a, this is a warm up. This is a warm up. This is a warm up. It's a warm up. <laughs> crap. Okay, we don't have a lot of time left in the day, but I am gonna try one more before I run out of time here. Um, because I just want to, I just want to get some attempts in and feel like I've got, you know, I've got it down. So that way when I go purchase more buffs on the next night, um, I'm not too, oh, I did that wrong. I'm not too worried about screwing it up. And I really got to do this every single stealth strike here. Oop. Go away from the arm. <laughs> nope. Don't get hit by that. I'm about to get adrenaline. Oh, I screwed that up. I tried, I tried to charge but it didn't end up. It wouldn't have helped. And stealth strike. I mean, this is working. It's working quite well. I just gotta not be bad. Not get hit by everything. <laughs> Are we entering daytime? Is that is that what's going on here? It just started firing really fast. I don't think this it is daytime yet. Um, I kind of want to save up for the rage, so I'm going to stealth strike with the rage. Try it that way. I think I may have screwed that up a little bit. We definitely get two stealth strikes in per rage at the moment, which is good. Oh, this sucks. This is going way better, but I, I don't have enough time. It's going to go daytime here, and I think he's going to enrage, which is not ideal, obviously. <laughs> and when he starts spinning around after I've killed his head or his arms, then, yeah, then that's it. <laughs> you know what? I'm happy with that. We can definitely do it today. I need to get it to nighttime, but in the meantime, uh, it's time to go farm some soul of light, maybe? Soul of night and soul of light. I haven't actually gone really far down here, so let's go see if we can find a uh, hallowed biome. So there is no hallowed biome down there, but what I'm going to do instead is go into the underground um, snow area. Actually, I could turn on a blizzard and then try to farm for better wings, but the wings are not going to help us against Skeletron. Not not right now. Like we, I think we very clearly have that fight. I just got to do it again. Oh, no. I hate when I do that stupid thing. Um, I just need to do the fight again, uh, but not be bad. Yeah, I think that makes a big difference. And having the stealth build way faster than it used to has been helping. I kind of feel like there's a possibility for us to swap out some accessories here. Like we, we've got the, the filthy gloves that we can we can upgrade and let's see what we can do with that now that we have the mechanic. Um, yeah, 
yeah, there's, I think there's a couple options, but at the moment, I, I, I need to wait for it to go dark. And in the meantime, I think the best thing for us to do is try to find some underground hallowed biomes. You know, our hallowed seems to be over here. So if I go down, maybe I'll get some, some things to spawn there. It's possible. We gotta, we really have to kill one of these bosses so we can get the, the, what's it called? Not the tinkerer. Is it the tinkerer? No, the steampunker. And then with the steampunker, we can get the teleport set up. So killing Skeletron is definitely my priority today. Let's look at the rest of boss checklist here. So Skeletron for sure. Um, cryogen. Maybe? What do you need to do that? You need a cryo key. Uh, let's look this up real quick. Cry, cryo key. Um, souls of light and souls of night. And then essence of helium. Which I think you can get just from random enemies here. I don't think I need to get that down below. But I, I don't think I'm I'm fighting that boss today anyways. I really need to set up a an arena. Probably right here, honestly. Just knock all this out. Get it nice and flat. Because cryogen's no joke. And in fact, there's um there's a buff that we can get from the the Alchemist NPC. And I don't quite remember the name of it, but it does help you. And I think we've used it once. It does help you detect projectiles. Yeah, I think we used it on Slime God. Um, so we can use that in attempt to see cryogen stuff a little bit better. And it does help a little bit. I mean, cryogen is, is, t is a tough fight to begin with because there's a lot of projectiles. It is kind of a bullet hell. And I think if you have the proper amount of, can I just dig some of this? <laughs> I don't, I don't want to go running all the way over there. Uh, I know it's lazy, but it's true. If, if you have the proper amount of stuff for, for seeing, you know, um, like all the projectiles that come out of cryogen, then it does make it a lot easier, but it's, it's that, that step that you have to take to get there. It's kind of tough. I think we need to go a little bit deeper before we're going to get the, um, the souls. So I'm going to go down and to the right and hope for the best. Oh, we are definitely low enough. Can we back out. Toss this. Kill these enchanted swords. I like the enchanted sword quite a bit, by the way. I think it's one of the coolest enemies that you get early, early hard mode. Um, it definitely makes you feel like you're playing in something that should be called hard mode. So it's a kind of cool, unique, unique weapon um, kind of type of of enemy that you you don't really see anywhere else in the game. I love it. Ah, I forgot about these guys. Oh my goodness, he scared me. He came out of nowhere, made me jump, started attacking me. That was not fun. I don't, I don't like things jumping, jumping out at me. If I wanted to play a scary game, I'd go play like Resident Evil or, or something like that. I, I would not play, <laughs> I would not play Terraria to be scared. You know, that's, that's an interesting point there because I don't know about you guys. You can let me know in the comments if this is the case, but have you ever played Minecraft and like by yourself, you're just going around playing Minecraft, you know, doing, doing your thing, mining for diamonds, you know, normal Minecraft stuff, not necessarily modded Minecraft, just normal Minecraft stuff. And you get jump scared really hard by something and it gets kind of creepy with all the growling and whatnot. I don't know, man. I was just, that was my experience. I think, I think Minecraft playing by yourself in just standard Minecraft is actually really creepy. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it one bit. It's, it's kind of, it's difficult to get through. I also don't like scary games in general. So, you know, you got to take that with a grain of salt. Eh, I, you know, actually, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to back that up. I don't think it's not that I don't like scary games. It's that I don't like playing scary games by myself. And I don't necessarily mean playing with another person, but just having another person in the room or watching in some way while I'm playing a scary game. I don't know. I think I could do that a lot better. It's it's why back in the day, uh, me and Six Pounder did a full playthrough of Resident Evil 7 because 
he was just watching me and it was just like helping. He was, it's that like couch experience, right? That's the thing It's it's a couch experience. When, when you watch a scary movie, you typically watch it with someone else. You very rarely watch a scary movie by yourself unless you're a psychopath, you weirdo. <laughs> and when it comes down to like the experience of just sitting on a couch, watching a scary movie with people, it's cool. It's fun. It's exciting. You're both experiencing this like creepy thing and, and you could talk about it and be scared together and it doesn't matter who you're doing it with it's just fun and for me i think i could play just about any scary game and be totally fine with it if i had somebody watching me which is a weird thing but it's true also minecraft is a scary game you can't you can't convince me otherwise okay i've gotten nine souls of light that's not bad we still need souls of night. Um, we'll get there. I'm, I'm not too concerned with getting those right now. What can I make with the crystal shards outside of just the standard stuff? So, uh, oh yeah, I remember that was actually a really good magic weapon there. Chrono crystal, hallowed crystal, overflowed by power. Can't make that because we don't have crystal dust. Oh, this is alchemist NPC. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about that. None my business. Crystal bullets, pretty good, but we're not doing that. Oh, you know what? Actually, if I turn that off, it's weird. Now I can actually see everything. Magic harp. Oh, new healing potions. Yes. Actually, that might be quite good to use, huh? The Daedalus stuff. You need cryogen to die. Oh, okay. Um, where's the rogue one? Minion, magic. Wait, where's the rogue hood? Is it this one? Yeah. 13% increased. Bro. Actually, let's let's compare it. So this one, we've got 12 defense. And this one is 9. Oh, not 9. Sorry, 7. It's even lower. 13% uh, increased rogue damage. 7% increased rogue crit chance. Increases rogue velocity by 15%. 17% increased movement speed. That's an increase from the... 5% increased rogue damage knockback. And rogue weapons spread the astral infection. Hmm. Interesting. I think to me, that sounds, it sounds like the rest of the set may end up being better, but, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to look into that. Also, the, I don't know if this is new, <clears throat> ornate shield, boosted damage reduction and health while wearing the Daedalus armor, grants a frost dash that freezes enemies. Wasn't it the... Was it, wasn't it the lore item that granted the frost dash before? Am I going crazy? Ooh, consecrated water. Oh, we need adamantite. Not doing that yet. All right, that's fine. And then that's basically all I want to look out here. It's almost nighttime, which is why I'm just kind of chilling. I guess I could make some health potions. Possibly. Um, Go away, rogue. Can we drop in the crystals? Go to filter potions. I can make healing potions. I know I have pixie dust. Right? So let's go. Oh, that's because I not, wasn't on the craft one. Let's go here. Healing potions. Where's the big boys? Right here. Being able to heal 150 may... Oh, are you kidding me with the blood moon? <laughs> where Where is it? Where is it? What was it? What was it called? Was it under misc... I don't remember the name of the item. Actually, you know what? I'm 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 gonna auto pause on. I don't I don't usually auto pause while I play Terraria normally, but I gotta find this stupid item so we can make it daytime, so we can make it nighttime. There it is, Cosmolite. Stupid thing. Go away, Blood Moons. You know what I mean? I'm tired of you. Oh, I don't want to do it again. Okay, we good now? I think we're good. <laughs> All right, we're gonna buff up. We're going to do this boss again. I'm going to go ahead and launch this upwards now. Get those automatics uh, tracking going. I got to wait for... I got I to gotta listen for the ping. That one. <laughs> not the sound of me getting hit. That's not a fun ping. I don't like that ping. That's not, that's not fun. That one there. The shing. It's not really a ping, is it? I guess it's like a, like a sheath sound. Shing. Kind of fun. Or is it? Well, it's more like a, like someone sharpening a, a dagger. 
Which, you know, if that's what they were going for, that's kind of what it is. It works as a rogue sound. I like it a lot. I almost have one of the hands dead. So if I keep kind of keeping him in the area that I launched this thing, I think it's going to work a little bit better for trying to kill off at least one of the arms because it makes it slightly easier when you don't have to deal with being shot by a laser beam every 10 seconds. <laughs> Less than that every like three seconds. Oh, that thing is so annoying. How much time? I got 13 seconds on a heal. All right, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We got this. Um, let's rage and get that stealth strike. Oh, I'm getting smacked around here. It's not good. I almost ran right into that. I like this weapon. I don't know if it's better than the tracking disc or not. Because the tracking disc was was automatically hitting every time. This, it is tracking, but I wouldn't call it like an automatic hit every time I fire. <laughs> it's kind of one or the other. It just kind of does its thing. Now that we've actually gotten rid of a lot of these, we're in a pretty good spot to get a adrenaline attack here. And we can do that, which is going to completely annihilate the hand. It did a lot of damage. All right, we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. We, we need to make sure that we keep away from the head going into this next phase. I don't think we're going to kill it in the next attack. Might That one might do it. Did it do it? I think it did. All right, cool. We just stay away from head. Stay away from the head. Sure, we can, we can rage. Rage is fine. Oh my goodness, I hate that. It just does so much damage, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's also really hard to hit with the, um... Oh, we just got run here. Oop. It's really hard to hit with this, uh, with the, like, palladium javelin and whatnot. Which makes it a bit harder. Oof. Oof. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the dodge is real. I feel like they made this fight harder. <laughs> I don't know what they did to it, but it definitely feels harder. Watch that. I'm not even listening for the stealth strikes anymore. I'm just kind of going on feel and it's not working. I'm, I am missing it. It's, it's happening sooner than, than I'm giving it credit for. Did we just get rage? I think we did. That one might work there for the damage. We'll see. Oh yeah, heard it. How about this one? That one did too. I mean, it's doing a lot of damage. That was our heal. I think that was a... No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. I hate when it does that. Ah. How does it lock? Why did... Ah. Why does it lock on to me like that? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think the tracking disc is going to be better. I'm going to say it. I think the tracking disc is better. And I don't really have gold to buy a bunch of buffs. So that's not great either. We're, we're going to switch to the tracking disc. All right. I charged up the tracking disc. Uh, should I buff now? Probably. Get those all out of the way. And then we will spawn the boss. Use the tracking disc stealth strikes to attempt to do a bunch of damage. I, I don't know. I just feel like it's slightly better because it automatically is going to hit. I don't I don't have to throw it at a certain time. I just kind of throw it towards the boss and the, the lasers are going to do their thing. Uh, it's not... I don't know. I don't know because it's not doing necessarily as much damage. It's just kind of hitting everything. I'm, I'm hitting more consistently with it, which might average out to more damage over time. Oh, what did I get hit by there? I thought I dodged the laser. I, I have no idea what actually hit me. All right, we got, we, we almost got one of them dead. I would like to get the laser beam dead. Honestly, it's really annoying because it, it kind of keeps me moving in a funny way. Ah, oh, crap. I hate getting hit. He's, he's going to enrage this time, isn't he? This, this is a waste of a buff. He's going to he's gonna enrage. I don't have enough time. Uh, I really got to do this like right when it hits nighttime. All right, let's hit this. Hope for the best. Okay. I don't have enough time. He's going to enrage and kill me. Ah, damn it. <laughs> At least, you know what? Maybe, maybe if I go fast enough here. I can get some some attempts at the last phase and see what the heck I'm doing wrong and why. Oh no, I hit adrenaline right when it popped, but I wasn't fast enough. I got hit right before it. I also think I messed up on that stealth strike there. I think it did too early. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I think the mollusk is better. I'm gonna say it. I think I think we can definitively say 
that the tracking disc is dead. <laughs> it's worked for us, don't get me wrong, but I think I think the other is slightly better. We're gonna get a, an adrenaline. I'm gonna hold on, I'm gonna hold on, I'm gonna hold on. We got, I mean, we got one of the hands dead because of it. So I'll take it, but it's definitely gonna enrage. There it is. Ah, oh, sucks. Screw it. I'm getting the Cosmo Light. <laughs> Just switching it back to nighttime and trying this again. I'm losing so much gold. I don't have enough gold to keep up these buffs. But I guess I could come and craft some. Maybe. What can I get? All right. This is the the buffs I'm going with here. So crumbling potion, wrath potion. Oh, you know what? Where'd that Cosmo Light go? I know, I know, I just, it's just, if I just go get the stupid souls of night, I'd have it. But, I, I just, I'm just gonna use this. It's better than floundering around. So, I'm using Triumph, Sunshine, Crumbling, Wrath, Shadow, Regen, Swiftness, Iron Skin, a Flask of Poison. It's new, we haven't tried that yet because Rogue Attacks inflict Poison, um, and Life Force. So, that's our setup. We're going with it. And we're going Mollusk. We're going to go Mollusk here. Because I think that it is more damage. I think it's significantly more damage when I land it. Um, and it tracks too, so that helps. Oh, how did he hit me there? That was, should not have hit me. Ugh. See, that definitely should have hit me, but it didn't. I call hacks. I think I, th I think Skeletron's hacking the game. He's, he's being a butthead. Or in this case, a bonehead. <laughs> uh, stupid. This attempt isn't going so great. I've, I've got almost the last two hands dead. I'm having an issue getting them. Um, and I still got 16 seconds on the heal and I'm already pretty low. I don't want to go into the last phase super low, but it may end up happening regardless. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, and I just got hit. Is it is it worth it even hitting a heal? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just got hit twice and then we're dead. I did not dodge that very well. That attempt also did not go well. Having a hard time here. And I, I, I'm gonna run out of buffs. I don't have enough gold to keep buying them. And I definitely don't have enough materials to keep making them. So it's tough. Uh, I, I don't really have many <laughs> options here. I guess I could use some of these like Night Owl and Shine and... Uh, I don't know what else. Uh, life force would help. I don't want to use all those, but I'll use these. I don't think Inferno is going to help. It's actually just going to make it worse for me because that means I'm not going to be able to see what the heck I'm doing. This one's going slightly better. I'm not actually waiting for stealth strikes on this one. I don't know if it's helping or not. It's, it's kind of making it harder to see what I'm doing. But uh, what I did change is I was kind of going in more of a circle around Skeletron. Um, except when this happens, just booking it for my life. Just getting out of there, you know? <laughs> But when I come back this way, like, I'll, I'll try to do the, the motion that I was doing. It was kind of working, which, well, in this case, again, I'm just trying to get away from him. He fell fast, you know? And that hurts. Doesn't feel good. And I got 22 seconds on a heal. Let's go back this way. Let's go back this way. So, yeah, when he's doing that little circle thing, I don't think I want to get hit by him at all. So, I want to do my best to avoid that. And I, I also think that charging into him isn't going to help. I think it also doesn't... Oh my goodness, I'm on fire. Oof, that was close. I'm not sure what killed me. Oh, it was one of his skulls. That's tough. That's really tough. <laughs> this sucks. I swear I'm getting worse at this fight. And it's not that I'm necessarily getting worse at this fight. It's that this stupid laser beam is just homing in on me. It's the worst. I don't know what's going on. I just cannot seem to get get away from it and I've adjusted my strategy and I don't know if that's not working because I've adjusted my strategy or not you know what I mean like I don't know if it's because because I adjusted it that it's not working or if it's that I'm just getting fatigued on the fight so here's here's what I've been doing I have now been trying to focus down Mr. Laser Boy over here because it's super duper annoying. And the way that I've been doing that is I've been actually kind of aiming the weapon at the lasers. But as you can see here, I'm just getting like walloped. It's super annoying. <laughs> and even waiting for stealth strikes. Is it really working? I don't know, maybe. 
I don't feel like it, it's helping. Maybe wings would help a little bit better, right? So like maybe going and getting some frost wings um, might be ideal, but at the same time, like I, I would just need to make a Zerg potion and try to go do that. I have one hand almost dead here, but it's not the one that I want dead. <laughs> <laughs> look at look at this. Look at this stupid laser beam. <laughs> it just oh it's so frustrating. This shouldn't be as hard as it is. And I don't know if it's because of the weapon or not. And that's another thing. It's like, okay, well, you know, I'm I'm over here and I'm kind of complaining about <laughs> certain things here, obviously. But is it because of that weapon? Here, let's let's use a life force. Let's go check real quick. Let's try and use the javelins. Javelins are super good. Javelins have been doing excellent work, single target wise. What? Why, why do I have a worm after me? Oh my goodness. The, the other thing is, every time I get over to the desert, it's not, right, basically I have to do this. <laughs> Where I have to spawn the, uh, the boss before I get to the desert because there's a there's a current sandstorm going on and if I don't do that I just do not have uh, the way of killing them because there's so many enemies around it's really really stinking annoying I hate it so if I if I try and stealth strike here with the javelin even with like even if I had the higher um, projectile speed it's not going to help me much because I need to. I need to like aim at these things it's really hard to do, but it does a lot of damage though. That's the thing. Like if I focused one down, can we get rid of this map? Maybe that'll help. Give me some screen space. You know what I mean? Then maybe I could possibly kill the arms in time to do a bunch of damage with it. But this is better for like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Per like piercing. It's way better for piercing damage. And like, even if I just blind fired it like this, instead of stealth striking it, it's not quite doing what it needs to do. So then that brings me back to the mollusk of like, okay, well now I use the mollusk, but then the mollusk isn't doing enough damage. I don't feel so now I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place because I don't, I, this is the best gear that I can get right now. And I don't have any other options for weapons. My weapons are super limited at the moment. So do I keep trying Skeletron or do I try a different boss? I don't know. I don't know if like the eyes are going to be better. Um, did I have a mechanical eye? I don't think I did. Uh, I, I can make one. So, I mean, we could try the twins real quick. Maybe we try the twins because this is just not working in the slightest. I'm not even going to bother buffing up I don't think but I will spawn the twins and then fly away I'm not bad at the twins I don't like the twins though I'm not it's not my favorite fight it's it's not easy but it's certainly not not the hardest of the three I don't think but then this brings me back to the, the conversation we were having yesterday if like if if I do this, if I fight the twins, I kill the twins. Now Skeletron Prime is harder <laughs> and we don't get that much upgrades on the interim. So like, how do I handle that? I'm not sure. It's tough. It is, it is a tough predicament to be in because I definitely don't want to fight a harder Skeletron. And I feel like Skeletron is the one that I want to get done first. And I've gotten him into the second phase. I just kind of get wrecked by laser beams. Which, to be fair, is kind of what's happening here. Although we're not buffed up for this, we don't have all the buffs. So let's let's just see how far we get here. Um, it's it is tough to not get hit and try to save up for an adrenaline. But my goodness, it does so much damage when you do hit with it. I've got nine seconds on a heal. Those laser beams are blasting me. I get a heal off? No, I got two seconds still. This is a hard fight, you know? It. I don't think it's as hard as Skeletron. <laughs> I feel like this is a little bit more doable. Th this is also the first time I'm doing this since the last time I did it in Calamity. Which was a while ago. It's over a year ago. And I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of torn here. I feel like we're doing a lot of damage. But with this particular weapon, it's a little harder to get right where I want it. Maybe the javelin is better here then. Uh, I just got killed by fire. I'm not moving fast enough. And that's a problem. 
<sighs> I think I need better wings. I think that's the thing. I think that's the fix is we have to go get better wings and it's got to be the frost wings. I think that's the easiest way to do it. And so for me, I'm just going to go use the torrential tier, which I think helps with getting a, well, actually, let's go look. If we can get a blizzard, which I, I believe is from the, um, the, the rain just in that biome. Then we can get some some of the frost guys, and from there we can go get our wings. I, it, it's like it's a fairly reasonable drop from them, so I'm not too worried about it. But let's try this. So I'm gonna come over here, and we'll see if this works. That's a wolfy boy. Also, uh, this is a material that we can upgrade with demonite. We really should do that before I finish this off. Do we have a blizzard? Is this a blizzard? I can't see anything, unfortunately. <laughs> um, we aren't getting things to spawn. Oh, yeah, there's a, a giant right there. Oh my goodness, if I get what I need for the wings, that'd be perfect. Also, I have, already have some souls of flight, but I think I need 20, and I believe I have 19. So that obviously would not be ideal. Can I, can I use this weapon here? Is this gonna work? I don't really care about the, the homing. I just want to make sure I kill this thing. Oh, ice golem. I keep calling it a giant. I don't know why. Too much Dungeons and Dragons for me. I think if I if I get the wings here, that would be the best. That that would be the, the way to, to fix the situation that we've had today of just wiping on the Skeletron Prime over and over, which I was fully expecting to be able to kill it in like one, maybe two attempts. Oh no, 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 no. Don't do that. Bad, bad guy, bad. Oh, he slows me down so much for 40 seconds. Are you kidding me? All right, let's just cheat. We got a homing weapon, you know? So let's home in. Let's do it that way. I think this will eventually kill it. Right, zombie, get out of here. You're not welcome here. Not in my house. Come on, give me the wings. The wing piece, that is. Mm, I don't know if it did. Frost core, is that it? I think that, I don't think that's it. I think that's for something else. I think that's for actual gear. Let's go back to town. Where'd the frost core go? Yeah, definitely not. Although this is cool. That's gonna be a while before we get that, huh? <laughs> a lot of cryogen stuff. Frost helmet, not gonna help us here because we're not melee. <sighs> this is frustrating. All right. We're going to go try to get the wings, I think. If I can get the wings, we'll be better off. I just need to go farm this stuff. And then, hopefully, we can back-to-back -back kill Skeletron and the twins with having better wings. 